Do you own a shop, internet cafe, or a pawn shop? Or what about a video club, sell coconuts, or even operate or own a donkey cart? Now, I'm sure many of you don't know that you are required to obtain a trade and miscellaneous license. Yes, I'm talking to you, donkey cart owners. Stay tuned, this is Talk Tax. Welcome to another episode of Talk Tax. I'm Nikisha Castello. There are 26 types of trade and miscellaneous licenses. Yes, 26 different categories. So if you own a small shop or business, chances are your business may need a license from the GRA. Because I want to educate you lovely people about this license, I'm going to tell you the 26 types of licenses and also explain a few. What? I'm also going to tell you about the various fees and some requirements to obtain and renew these licenses. So here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Number one, gas station license. Well, that's pretty straightforward, right? Number two, cargo vessel license. Number three, money lenders or pawn shop license. Number four, coconut product license. As I mentioned before, if you manufacture or sell coconut produce, you will be required to obtain a license from the GRA. Number five, video club license. Number six, cinema license. Number seven, ball and dance license. Now this is an occasional license. For example, if you're hosting a simple event such as a barbecue online, this license is $6,000. Number eight, butcher shop license. If you operate a butcher shop at your residence or a business entity. Number nine, market butcher shop license. If you operate a butcher shop in the municipal market, Number 10, market drug store. Straightforward, right? Well, there is also a pharmacy license, which brings us to number 11. These two licenses are similar to that of a butcher shop and market butcher shop. Of course, the drug store and pharmacy licenses are for operators selling pharmaceutical drugs. Number 12, betting shop license. Number 13, auctioneer license. Number 14, house or real estate agent license. Number 15, rice factory license number 16 food restaurant license this is very important a lot of persons mix this up with a shop license or a sanitary certificate from the city council if you sell food pastries etc you are required to obtain a license from gra to do so number 17 the husker license this license is for persons vending on the roadside selling various confectionaries Number 18, Bullards and Bagatelle license. That is for shops with pool tables. Number 19, shop drug first class and second class are for operators who sell over-the-counter drugs. Number 20, shop and store license. Number 21, tobacco license. Operators selling cigarettes and tobacco products, of course. Number 22, entertainment license. Now this is given to persons who sell liquor. Now the cost varies for rural and urban areas. Number 23, four-wheeled donkey cart license. Number 24, two-wheeled donkey cart license. And of course, we cannot forget the horse and mule cart, number 25. Finally, number 26, 26. general shop, lumberyard, and internet cafe license. Oh my God. Now that was a handful, but we still have the fees and requirements to touch on. So stay tuned. We'll be back after these short messages. Hi, I am Balwan Prasad, driver for the past 10 years. Over the years that I have been driving, I always make sure that I buckle up, I observe the 5C, and most importantly, make sure that I renew my driver's license at least three months before the expiration date. Welcome back. Now, if you own a general shop, lumberyard, or internet cafe, the license fees are as follows. For rural districts and businesses not exceeding 120 square feet, the cost is $500. If the building exceeds 120 square feet, but not 2,000 square feet, $2,000. And if it exceeds 2,000 square feet, it's $5,000. I know, I know, I haven't forgotten the urban districts. To be honest, I was trying to avoid this because it's a bit lengthy. So I'm gonna let it scroll. And if it applies to you, hooray, there you go. Those are the fees. These 
fees apply to Georgetown, Linden, and New Amsterdam. I want to point out the fees for having a general shop at the various markets. Stabrook Market, it is $4,000. Cummingsburg and other markets, $2,000. New Amsterdam and Linden Markets, $2,000. Village Council and Local Government Markets, $1,000. The forms for these licenses are available on GRA's website, www.gra.gov.gy. Additionally, if you scroll to the left-hand side of the website, you can spot each license and with a simple click, view the fees, requirements, and procedure to obtain or renew the license. If you have questions, feel free to call us or send us an email at grapublicrelations at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.